everybody, it's Joshua here again, and I'm excited to share with you a brief overview of our 22.1 release for Alteryx Designer, Alteryx Server, as well as updates on our Alteryx Intelligence Suite, and even some cool new connectors updates. Like each of these releases, with these videos, I'm gonna show you the latest features of this release and ensure you have a good grasp of what's coming. We also know that some of you wanna know all the cool details of a specific feature, which you can find in two spots either at help.altrex.com under the 22.1 release notes, or we now have detailed video demos of each major feature on our Altrex YouTube channel. Let's get into it. In 22.1, our product team has been hard at work to deliver many major features and updates. For the first major update, Altrex Designer is getting a brand new coat of paint. Our design team has created all new fonts, colors, and icons giving designer a modern look and feel with the same drag and drop we look. Another major update is how our Alteryx Intelligence Suite is bringing amazing new capabilities that many of you have been dreaming about. Our new barcode reader tool lets you both read and create barcodes or QR codes. So for example, you could create a QR code to help identify and process PDFs, or you could create a workflow that reads shipping labels. Cool, right? We also have two new tools that are key enablers for your OCR workflows with the part of speech tagger tool and the key value pair tool. The part of speech tagger tool helps you identify nouns, verbs, and adjectives to narrow down what you want to analyze for things like topic modeling. The key value pair tool allows you to specify a key, which will help you focus on what you want to extract from a document image. So you could specify an invoice number as a key and the key value pair tool will automatically pull all the values that appeared next to that text. So now for our connectors updates. Alteryx now fully supports Databricks CloudFetch. This is a big one for any company looking to ingest and prep large amounts of data in either Azure Data Lake or AWS S3. Another major update is that our AMP engine, which can speed up your workflows to the max, is now the default engine for designers. This means every new workflow will enable you to process more data faster and with less resources. Now, if for whatever reason you need to switch back, you can always run your workflows using the original engine, but come on, don't you really wanna go fast? Lastly, our mission here is to enable every person to transform data into a breakthrough. So what's your breakthrough?